Hello friends, my name is Penelope Van Dyke and I'm an independent gallery guide in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Lake Agassiz Regional Library asked me to share in their summer reading program. I have two different painting activities for you, painting your own rock and mini canvas. Your painting kit will include a blue or white apron, a mini canvas, nine colors of paint, and two brushes, a flat and a round tipped. You'll also want to have a disposable tablecloth or newspapers to cover your work surface, a paper plate or a plastic lid to mix colors on, paper towel to wipe your brushes off, and a cup of water to rinse your brushes. Now I'm gonna show you how to dip your brush in your paint and rinse off your brush. When you dip your brush, you only wanna do about half of your bristles. And then when you clean your brush off, you want to swish it in your cup quickly, but you don't want to push your bristles down in the bottom of your cup or you will ruin your bristles. When you're drying it off, you want to dry it off gently. If it comes out clean, you're good to go. If not, repeat the process. Now for the canvas painting. You'll take your flat tipped brush and I'm going to only open the colors that I'm going to be using. Okay, we're going to start with our yellow and go just above the center mark. And we want to get the edges where we colored yellow so our board looks finished. And rinse your brush off. We're going to do orange next. just above the yellow. If they blend together a little bit, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Grab your edges. You want nice, smooth, even strokes across. Rinse off your brush. We'll go into red. Nice long even strokes across. You want you don't want bubbles on your painting or it'll take too long to dry. Just nice even thin thin coats. Grab the edges and also grab the top of your canvas. Okay, now we're going to start with our purple and work our way up. So And our purple is a thinner paint, so we might need to do two coats on that one. Grab your bottom edge with your purple too and the two edges right next to your purple. Rinse it off. We'll let it dry a little bit and we'll come back to it. All right, now I'm gonna do my green. 
and go next to my yellow with it. my edges and the green is like the purple it has a thinner it's thinner so we need to do two coats of that as well so we'll come back and do another layer of that as well nice thin coats or layers I'm going to glue in the middle of the purple and the green. Grab your edges. I'm going to grab my purple again and do another coat. It dries fairly quickly when we do a nice thin lot, thin coat on it. Okay. And then I'll grab my green again. Long strokes across so you have nice smooth lines. All right. Okay, now you may want to take a break and let this dry for five to 10 minutes, like pause the video. Now for our tree trunks and branches, we're gonna use our flat tip brush again and you'll dip into your white and you'll go up, but then when you get to the orange, you're gonna curve it to the left and to the right. And then we'll start them at different heights so it gives them some depth. So for our first one, it's at the bottom. So we're gonna go up from the bottom. And I might, I just wanna get an outline for now. And then I can re-go over it and put more white on top so it stands up. Okay, and the next one is at the edge of the purple and blue. And then goes up off the canvas. And then the third one is at the bottom again. And that one turns at the yellow and then it, it goes the skinny way. So the narrow part of your flat brush and just go on the edge of it. Oh, I got it a little wide, that's okay. And if they're not straight, that's okay because what tree is completely straight? This one, I'm gonna put a curve in it. There. If you wanna whiten it up, you just go over it again. Okay. 
and we'll let that dry a little bit. Rinse our brush off. Now we, that our trees are dry, we need to mix some brighter green for our grass. So I'm gonna take some green and put it on my paper plate. Rinse off my brush. And then I'm gonna grab some yellow, put it on my paper plate. A little much there. All right, then you just start mixing like we did with the tan for the hedgehog. Okay. Now I'm going to take my tiny brush, my round tip brush, and I am going to make some leaves. And you can use whatever colors for the leaves that you want. You just want to make sure that whatever color you're using, you're not putting it on the background of that color. So like when I dip into the orange and make a leaf, I don't want to put it on the orange background. So I'll put one here on the yellow. You just want to make little tiny football shapes. And I'll put one here in the green. And there's no rhyme or reason to where we put these. If you don't want to use orange, you don't have to. Add some blue. Do some green. Some yellow on there. Oops, I went in the yellow. It's not going to show up very well. There. I'm down here in the green. Okay, then when you're all done putting your leaves on, you can use your black and add your lines on your trunks and your branches. So it doesn't have to like outline it completely, just here and there to make it pop off the page a little bit. And I'm using my round tip brush again. I 
And then you want to draw little lines in there offset from each other to give it that birch tree look. And the thinner you touch with your brush, the skinnier your line will be. The harder you push with your brush, the thicker your line will be. And then what? Okay. Then when you're all done with that, Wash and dry your brush off. And then we're going to take that bright green that we mixed with the green and yellow. And we're going to draw little lines up like if it's grass coming out of the ground. Just little wisps of wispy lines that kind of go in. different directions. There, there's your rainbow birch. I wanna thank you for painting with me today and I hope you have a great rest of your summer.